So, um, a lot of fans don't know what's been going on, and um, I keep up with social media, I keep up with um, the YouTube comments. I understand that video output has been down, and frankly, I want to say the best way I can say it without causing too much um, discomfort to myself is that I lost my closest relative and I had to watch them expire slowly over the course of about 50 days. So understand where I'm coming from when I say that under those circumstances it was hard to be able to do videos. I admit, I almost quit. I'll be honest with you. But I had to think about the future and I had to think about what we have accomplished going from now and forward to what we have to look forward to in the future to say that boxing season is back. We got so many fights. I actually want to read you the whole list of fights because right now this is actually the um, busiest year of boxing since I've been on YouTube. So with headliners like, for okay, for example, the headliner for September is Mayweather versus Birdo. The headliners, there's actually two for November, two for October, which is uh, Klitschko versus um, Klitschko versus Fury, and um, and uh, Lemieux or Golovkin versus Lemieux. Then November we got Cotto versus Canelo. When it comes to those fights that I just mentioned, I myself or we will have someone at each of those fights. So I have to look at it like, well, we've come this far. It's no point in coming this far and doing what we've done and then quitting. I read all the comments where people say, oh, you know, T-Street, you fell off. Or T-Street, this channel is doing better and they're killing you and all this and all that. I understand and I, I listen, I read all of the shit. It's just that I've been going through a tough phase in life, but also accomplishing a dream at the same time for me and my partners. So... Right now, I'm, I'm actually in a blessed situation to where even if I don't like some of these bullshit PBC fights, even if I feel mean and I don't like them as in I don't like the matchups, I will always sit there and watch a fight. I don't care who it is. Believe it or not, people may not believe me, but I paid for Mosley versus Mallorca. I'll be perfectly honest with, honest with you. As I am, I got my money back. So... Some of the bullshit fights that you may not like, I enjoy. Why? Because I enjoy having something to watch. So I'm just glad we get fights like, you know, um, Austin, um, no doubt, Fish Trout versus uh, Joey Twinklefingers Hernandez. I'm happy when I see Anthony Mundine fight because I'm thinking he really is the biggest boxing star in Australia. You know, I'm happy to see, you know, fights like this. Like, oh, that's a whole country. He's the number one guy over there. You know, I, I enjoy seeing fights, even though, you know, I understand he shouldn't be fighting someone like this. I enjoy fights like Wilder versus the Hoppers. So when I say I'm actually glad to be back, to be able to do videos at this frequency again, you know, to help me keep my mind off of all the stress and drama and trust me. T-Street's writing a book. I got, listen, with the shit that's been going on. But, you know, I got to look at this. I got I got to look at this um, upcoming boxing season as, like I said, a blessing because it gives me as a new found growing video reporter. It gives me something to do. You know, it gives me something to keep growing for. And as you know, my overall goal is to get my boxing promoter's license. It started with me just doing videos, you know, um, by myself drunk in my house and then it grew from me being that to actually being a full member of the media and now the next step is to get the boxing promoters license so I can show not only not only the naysayers but the fans my partners but more importantly myself is that you can become something you can do something if you keep going you know despite all the controversy or bullshit going on in your life, no matter how good you are, that you can keep going. So, I'm thinking about like this. I wonder what you think of me. I'm thinking about doing a show on Mondays. 
I'm thinking about doing like a two hour boxing show on Mondays around 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern time. The reason why I'm picking that is because it'll be enough time for the people over in the UK or the people over, you know, in, um, in foreign countries outside of the United States to be able to either listen to me in the mornings on their way to work or listen to me at night after that night's calm down. I'm really thinking about doing that. That's what I'm thinking about doing instead of doing... Okay, for example, I used to do a Google Hangout starting Mayweather Birdo. I'm going to be doing a Google Hangout on Saturday nights after every single major fight. And on my time, that usually doesn't start to about 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to where I'm thinking, well, if I do it on Mondays, you know, if I do it on Mondays, that'll be, you know, the whole weekend wound, winding down from the fights. And then I can do like a recap of the past week's fights or that weekend, which was on a Saturday, and also talk about the fights coming up for the week. Now, as I said, um, we have goals here at T Street Controversy. The goals is to make sure that we get to the next level. The goal is to make sure that um, the fans that have been watching me over the years, they, they, they understand and see the progression because people, what I've noticed is, and I'm gonna talk about it all, they don't like the way the channel have been, has been going as far as they want to see me talk and do my prediction and analysis videos, but also they want to see the videos we got of people and myself going to events. So what it is, is you've been seeing a lot more videos of people going to events, press conferences, weigh-ins, media workouts, but not enough of me. I want you to understand, and I, and I don't like talking about it, is I lost my closest family member. You know, excuse me if I'm lisping. I gotta get a wisdom wisdom tooth taken out. It's just so much shit going on. I lost my closest family member and I had to watch it happen slowly and it's been fucking me up. I don't wanna use profanity, but it's been fucking me up. You know, I thought, oh yeah, you know, I'm tough. I'll be able to deal with it. And you know, I'm just gonna keep doing business like usual, but no. Boy, was I wrong. Boy, was I wrong. But as it stands right now, we have to look at what has been accomplished despite all the bullshit and just keep going forward. All I want to do is I want to help make boxing super popular again. Remember, PBC um, uh, said it to where remember when the boxing champion was the most popular person in America? Floyd Mayweather may be one of the most, well, the highest paid in America, but he's still not the most popular. You know, I wanted I, I want to be a part of something where I'm helping boxing become. I don't want to say relevant. Boxing is relevant, but but seeing the recent dip in PBC numbers, I think to myself, well, damn, what can I do better? You know, what can I do to make people hype for these fights? Covering every single major event, having someone at the media workouts, having someone at the weigh-ins, having someone at all of you, know, it's not enough. You know, at one point in time, and that's what I'm trying to get back into. Um, I was on a channel where we covered pro wrestling and we covered boxing and mixed martial arts. But since I was I was covering wrestling and boxing at one point in time, real rap, and I noticed that I was able to make pro wrestling fans into boxing fans. That's what boxing needs is somebody to help, you know, make them into boxing fans. And well, I don't want to get into too many details. I don't want to um, actually sit up here and rant. And to be honest with you, I don't like talking about the recent death of the family. And it makes me upset. So I'm going to get off of this video, you know, uh, before I have a fucking goddamn breakdown. This is T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live with RealCombatMedia.com. And I cover every single major fight live. Please subscribe.